Hi guys, uh, so today I want to, to do a short video about collimating uh, reflector telescope. I uh, like this one. As you can see, reflector telescope is just, uh, I have a, a mirror at the back. It focuses the light on this primary mirror here. And uh, the light then focuses here at the focuser where you attach your eyepiece or camera. Uh, now this, the position of these mirrors can can get knocked out if you bump the telescope or move it to from one place to another it's very easy to, to knock out so i have to uh, collimate after basically after every session i collimate this so uh, i cover this telescope and i will turn it to show you how i'm gonna collimate it in this case we have knobs that you can turn by hand Sometimes these are screw Phillips screws or Allen keys, depends. But basically you have these three. The three smaller ones are the lock nuts uh, to lock these screws here, these three bigger ones. These three bigger ones adjust the angle of the, of the, the, of the primary mirror at the back. So basically you have to loosen these three first and then adjust these. Now you might ask, how do I know that the mirror is centered? Now, uh, this is a bit tricky because not all telescopes are the same. This one, very conveniently, as you can see here, there is a center spot in the mirror. Uh, so that center spot, I will, I will show you. I have a collimation cap here. When that center spot is aligned with this center hole here, you are perfectly collimated. Uh, you can do with a collimation with a unfocused star as well. But if you have this center spot in the in the middle, you can use a collimation cap. If you don't have a center spot, you can make it yourself. There are lots of guides on YouTube. Or you can uh, do an un unfocused star. I plan to do a video about that as well, an unfocused star, because not everyone has this. Uh, the spot in the mirror, but this this, uh, this guide is when you have that spot. You can also use laser collimators, but laser collimators require collimation as well. So I'm going to use without uh, just just by the collimation cap. I'm going to show you how now. Now I know this is not the perfect <laughs> video because I'm I'm taking this with the phone camera, but basically. What you see here is, uh, as I told you, the collimation cap is now installed in the focuser, and we are now looking as if we are looking by eye. And as you can see, that is those three three lines are the spider veins. That is the secondary mirror in the middle, and where you can see that black spot in the middle. That is uh, how we want the, that black spot to be when it's perfectly collimated. Now, at the moment, it is perfectly collimated, but I'm. On purpose, I'm going to knock it out of collimation by moving the uh, one of the bigger screws. Voilà. As you can see, now it's out of collimation. As you can see, it's off center. Now, when now when you see this, it's obviously out of collimation, and you have to turn uh, most of the time only two screws out of the three of the turn, uh, which one? This is by practice. I'm not sure. Depends on the situation, but I'm going to turn this one back. And, and as you can see, if you turn the other ones, uh, it turns to the other side, like this. Like now, now when you, uh, it's, it's perfectly centered, then you lock the three smaller screws. So the, the mirror doesn't move again. I'm locking them now. Okay. Now the collimation is much more uh, needed to be perfect when, when a, a, a telescope is fast, like an F4, F3. This one is F5. It's not that critical, but when you start getting below F5, it's critical to get it perfect. For slower scopes, it's not that critical to be uh, perfect collimate, but, but obviously, the more perfect it is, the more good the image will get. 
and basically like that your telescope is now collimated now i will do in the future another uh, video with the unfocused star basically you you turn the focus there until uh, a star is unfocused and there is i will show you in that video uh, the, the circles that, that comes out of a star when it's unfocused will determine how good your collimation is uh, this method is more accurate but not all mirrors have the uh, center spot in them like i had the dobsonian before it didn't have a uh, center spot mirror so not 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 always uh, the, the the bummer is when you use the non-focused star you have to wait till night to to collimate on like a collimation cap you can do it anytime so basically uh, that's it uh, press thumbs up please to to help my video seen by be seen by, by more people uh, and share my videos and until the next time clear skies